Long ago, people thought the universe was pretty simple and believed Earth was at the center of everything. They thought the sun, stars, and other space objects circled around Earth. This idea came from our natural feeling of being at the center of things. But as we learned more about space, we started a journey to find out where Earth really is in the Milky Way galaxy. This journey is full of exciting discoveries and smart thinking. To know where we are in the Milky Way, we first need to understand what our galaxy looks like. When you look at the night sky, you can see a faint milky band of stars. This is our galaxy. It looks like a flat disk, not a ball. If it were a ball, stars would be spread out all over the sky. The band of stars cuts across the sky, which means we're inside this flat disk. But to get a full view of the Milky Way's shape, we'd have to travel very far, way beyond what we've done so far. For example, the Voyager 1 spacecraft has been traveling for many years, but has only gone a tiny bit of this distance. Even without traveling far into space, we've figured out a lot about our galaxy. In the 1700s, a man named William Herschel, who discovered the planet Uranus, also tried to map the stars in the Milky Way. He used a telescope he made himself and worked with his sister Caroline. They divided the sky into sections and carefully noted where each star was. Herschel thought our solar system was near the center of this flat disk, but his map wasn't completely right because he didn't know about space dust that can hide stars. In the 20th century at Harvard College Observatory, an astronomer named Henrietta Swan Leavitt made a big discovery. She studied special stars called Cepheid variables, which get brighter and dimmer in a regular pattern. She found a way to use these stars to measure distances in space. This was a huge help for astronomers. Using Levitt's work, another astronomer, Edwin Hubble, yes, like the Hubble Space Telescope, figured out that the Andromeda galaxy is way farther than we thought. This showed that Andromeda is outside the Milky Way, changing our view of the universe. Then came Harlow Shapley, who studied groups of stars called globular clusters. He found that these clusters form a sphere around the center of the Milky Way. This told us that Earth is not near the center of the galaxy, but more towards the outer part. Today, we know that our solar system is in a smaller part of the Milky Way called the Orion Arm. It's between two bigger parts called the Sagittarius and Perseus Arms, about 26,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. Our understanding of the Milky Way and our place in it has grown a lot, especially with the help of the Gaia space mission. Launched by the European Space Agency, Gaia is mapping our galaxy in 3D and studying about one billion stars. This mission is giving us a much clearer picture of the Milky Way, helping us learn more about where we are in space.